All right, how we doing, folks? It's your boy, Marcos, over here. Remember right here, we left my boy Sammy running in place. And even though it's been a week, he's still running in place, man. Sammy crazy, so I be getting to the workout, man. Those those hind legs, even though they look too big, they strong. They real strong. All right, there's the five Mumbo tokens we need. Boom, hit the switch right here. My girl run till the makes that pop in the overworld, which I always thought was really cool when I was a kid. I was like, yo, this thing did something different on the stage. It's kind of like a Super Mario 64 when you first, like, learned that, uh, oh, it fell. Excuse me, when you first learned that you could look at the sky and then it'll open up to the stage where you fly and stuff. Like, that was crazy when, that, when I first found that out. I was like, what? Like, this is nuts. This is crazy. And I was talking about players, guys. I remember them at a, at a, at a, at a Mastermind Monday. Mastermind. I keep calling it Mastermind Monday. In a Masterpiece Monday. I, actually, I don't know if it came out yet. Um, like I said, I, I, I got to jumble on my, my apologies, but I kind of jumble them up as to what I do. I, I try to do like one or two, you know, every couple weeks, so I kind of. Kind of get, get jumbled up over there as to what. But I'm going to talk about players, guys, when I remember Super Mario City 4, one of the games that I actually got players got for. And I thought it was really cool reading some of the stuff over there. And yeah, I beat the game at that point, but it was still so much that I didn't know. And then there was one little, oh, there was one star in that metallic stage. God, don't even make me talk about it. Let's stick to Banjo. Let's stick to Jiggy. Let's stick to my man, Kazooie, eating the Jiggies. And me questioning, where do the Jiggies go, though? What, if, if he eats them, where do they go, though? All right, I don't know how many notes I got left. All right, there's a honeycomb over there. I got to transform to get into that. Transforming into an ant, by the way, which is always a nifty transformation, I guess. Um, it was really cool we you know the transformation. It was cool that it introduced the, the fact that, hey, you're going to be transforming. I don't know if I quite understood the ant thing. I was kind of like, ah, I don't really want to do this, but whatever. All right, let's, so now we got to shoot and says, Tolban, we juju, mumbo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. Yeah, I'm going to feed you eggs, which are cool enough. This guy was gonna wait here because I'm pretty sure that there's something to go up there. Yeah, buddy. Muscle memory. It's crazy how much I remember about these games, man. It is it is nuts. Like I, I mean I haven't played Banjo Kazooie. I haven't played Banjo Kazooie in its entirety since Man, this this is just, this is making me think I'm I'm gonna feel real old right now. I haven't played Banjo Kazooie from start to finish. I played like little parts of it. You know, you do it like a friend's house and they have maybe playing it. Or, you know, maybe I've watched it online. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna count watching it online because I do watch it online sometimes. I know, for example, Screw Attack, they're doing a very great Let's Play on it. It's kind of inspired me, you know, a little bit to, uh, in terms of changing the channel or what I want to see done with the channel. Some of the stuff that they do. Uh, if you don't check those guys out, make sure you check them out. Uh, Alright, we, we go over here and say X. Cool, Mumbo, you, you do your magic, buddy. What, what the hell is X at? Oh, I gotta be not in that move. Okay. Um, I haven't played Banjo Kazooie. It's an entire. Man, I want to say, like, dude, I had to be, like, in high school, man. Like, that shit had to be, like, 2005, man. Like, like almost 10 years ago, man, I haven't played this game, like, from to start to finish. It's really one of the things I really wanted to get out of doing these Let's Plays, man. And I, I stressed it out when I made that video on, uh, on the Freestyle Friday, explaining a little bit on why the change of the channel. Um, but I'll talk a little bit about more. I, I really wanted to play a lot of games. I just didn't have enough time to play. I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't have enough time, for example, like a game like Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time is a game that I've been trying to play for a while now. And I've started a lot of times, and then I just kind of, it's just like you don't play for a couple days, and there we go, we got 100, cool. Um, you start off a couple days, and then you just don't play it for a little while, and then you lose track of the controls, and you lose track of where you are, and you fall down the damn map like I just did right here, and it's no cool. Um, it's tough, man. It's tough nowadays, you know got two jobs and you got the kids and you got everything you got to do uh the wifey you got everything you know what i'm saying so it, it, it is difficult to keep everything in that and still have enough time to go play a 20 plus hour 30 plus hour 40 plus hour depending on how you want to play kind of game um but youtube kind of gives me a form it kind of gives you an excuse for me to kind of lie to myself and be like hey listen man i gotta put that video out though uh, I really want to play that game. Uh, I got to put that video out. I got people who are interested in seeing it. Um, even if it's only like 5 or 6 or 10 or 30. I don't give a damn how many people see it. As long as somebody sees it and enjoys that's more enough for me. So it's it, it, it's great in that sense. You know, It really allowed me to uh, to play more games than I want to play. It. And give me that, that excuse of when I don't feel like playing it. I could kind of be like, well, you know what? I do kind of have to make that video. And I do really want to play that stage though. So let's do it. Um, in that sense, that's something really, I'm really happy about this change in the channel, you know, rather than force myself to be like, you know, it's Friday night and I'm like, damn, I really still gotta get that Manic Monday done, really don't feel like playing Call of Duty right now, I'd much rather go to bed, but I gotta sacrifice and do that. One of the things right there, you know, I always said once that YouTube stopped being fun, I was gonna stop doing it, 
Um, and it wasn't really the funnest thing at that time. So that's kind of why we took a nice little hiatus right there. Anyway, though, let's not get so serious over here. Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I want them. I bet you do want them, bro. No homo. Mumbo magic get weak. Animal turn back or return back to regular form. Magic all gone. Must go back to bear and bird. Now, nah, cool. So we did everything we had to do in Mumbo's place, I believe. Let's, let's check out. Can we look at the tolls? Can I go to that state? Yeah, next. All right, cool. 100, 10, 2, 2, boom, being in the third team. Man, you can't ask for more than that, son. Muscle, memory. That's probably the last stage we're going to do that quickly, though. Because yeah, that muscle memory runs out after that, because I don't remember what the hell happens after this in this game. I know there's a door over here that we got to open up. All right, cool. Boom, knock that guy out of there. Now, there's some chick over here that talks like mad. It's like until the sister or some shit. And she, like, helps us out with some stuff. All right, there's a note door. Like, Grunty, I got you. Um, I, I remember you kind of have to write down, because then at the end of the game, there's like a quiz or something. There's like a quiz show, which was crazy when I first played it. And I, wow. It, it, this is a sport. This is a spoiler full uh, let's play, by the way. This is no, I'm not. Hey, if you haven't played this game yet, I don't know what rock you've been living under. A, let me get under that rock every once in a while, because there's some things that I don't want to know in life. So if you could let, find a little niche in that rock, I'd be cool with it. And B, get out of the rock and play this game, because this game is dope. Um, you can get an Xbox Live, dude, man. That's pretty awesome, man. Um, or you can get an N64 and play it there, which is how I have it as well, even though we're not doing it right now. But it's always a lot more fun to play on N64. The N64 controller, man, let me end this off, this episode off with the N64 controller, man. The N64 controller gets a pretty bad rap. Um, and we're going to talk to her over here and find out what she says, and we'll keep this story in video format. All right, hello there, young ones. I'm Brent Tilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she taught us a lesson. All right, whatever. We're not even going to read what she said. The N64 controller is shockingly a very good controller. So when you look at it, I remember the first time I saw it, I, I, I said to myself, I'm like, hold on. How does this shit even work? So I'm like, I need three hands to play this thing. Like, it's got three different, like, things. Like, what the? Um... But it works. It really works. Partially because I never really used. I never really used the D-pad and that 64 control. I know people who do. I think, I think you can play Smash with. I think I've seen people play Smash with the D-pad, which to me like was mind blowing. It's almost kind of like when I see people play Smash with just the Wii controller. I'm like, what? I'm like, how is that even possible? Like, how are you even doing that? Um, and that's the same. That's the same feeling I got when I see people use that. But it's really comfortable. And the Z button. Wow. Especially when you talk about Z targeting, for example, in a game like Legend of Zelda. Z targeting revolutionize the game. Revolutionize the game, dog. Like what's what's beef, man? What's life before Z targeting? Real talk though. What's life before Z targeting, man? In terms of, you know, uh, first person kind of games. Or not even first person kind of games. In terms of third world adventures. Nothing. Nothing. Revolutionized the game Z targeting did. And partially because that they had the the um that 64 controller that was able to do that. Um, you couldn't do that with any other controller, right? So we need 180 notes to get in the next next thing. I don't even know if that's the one we have to go to next. I have a feeling we don't. I think we have to go to this pipe to the next one. Whatever, we're going to get it anyway because we're keeping this game on and we complete everything in this game. I don't think there's anything else I have to do out here first. I think i got to go on the stage over here in Treasure Trove Cove. And I think I'm going to call it quits in an episode uh, right about now. We're going to go over here and... Doop. I think I should go in. Uh, what do you think, Banjo? Sure, you fell in. Might as well go in. Alright, so here's what we're picking up next episode. Treasure Troll Cove, the second stage over here at Banjo-Kazooie. Hope you guys have been enjoying this Let's Play, this Total Tuesday. We get everything. It's the most, man. It's the wildest walkthrough. This side of the Mississippi or the other side of Mississippi, depending where you are. Or if you happen to be in Uganda, it's on the opposite side of whatever river you got over there. I'm not too familiar with the water systems and the rivers in Uganda. My apologies. Because <laughs> we start hitting me because I'm not even moving. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday, everybody. Like the video. Love the channel. Deuces.